to the the Lustan Lustat structure, electron dot structure of uh, OF2 oxygen difluoride, we first have to know the number of valence electrons. So we have oxygen 2 fluorine, oxygen 6 fluorine 7. That gives us a total of 20 electrons or 10 electron pairs. We're going to put oxygen as the central atom. The fluorine is attached directly to the oxygen. Put in the bonding pairs. That gives us 8 more pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we put in all the valence electrons. We see that each of the atoms has four pairs, or eight electrons. The other way that we could have drawn this is doing dots instead of lines for the bonding electrons. The lines is a cleaner process, easier to see, uh, and the preferred process, but this is totally acceptable. So these are the valid Lewis dot structures, but from these we can continue on and answer some more questions as to electron geometry. We're going to look at the central atom, oxygen. Oxygen has one, two, three, four pairs around it. So two bonding pairs, two lone pairs. So four pairs means a tetrahedral electron geometry. But the lone pairs don't stick out of the oxygen at all, only the fluorines, the attached fluorines stick out. So the geometry of the molecules is based on the atoms, so we have three atoms. There can only be two geometries for three atoms, either linear or bent. And the tetrahedral does not allow a linear combination whatsoever, so this has to be bent. So we have a bent molecular geometry. To look at the bond angle, we know the bond angle of tetrahedral is 109.5 degrees. For a bent geometry, these lone pairs push on that uh, bond a little bit more, squeezing the two fluorine atoms together so it is closer to 104.5 degrees. Final thing we can ask is if it's polar or nonpolar. Without knowing the electron, without knowing the electronegativities, we're, we could assume that uh, the oxygen fluorine bond is a polar bond. Uh, it is a polar bond uh, from the electronegativities. It is a polar bond. So, being a polar bond here, will the geometry makes make the molecule nonpolar? or polar. Well, the lone pairs on the central atom, whenever we see lone pairs on the central atom, we know the polar bonds cannot cancel out. So that will leave a polar molecule. So we have a polar molecule. Which means it has a dipole. And if we want to see that visually, we're going to have a bent molecule. The fluorines are more electronegative than the oxygen, so the dipole is going to be negative on the fluorine side and positive on the oxygen side.